Moving on, farmers will be charged 70 shillings per 90 kilo bag for drying their maize. Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mithika Linshuri says the government has acquired more than 100 dryers that have been strategically availed at National Cereals and Produce Board depots in maize growing areas to help reduce post-harvest losses. The government has procured more than 100 grain dryers to mitigate against post-harvest losses of especially maize as farmers in key bread basket areas harvest this season's produce. The purchase of dryers have been done to help farmers dry their maize even as heavy rains are experienced in most parts of the country. And now Agriculture Cabinet Secretary says the cost of the service has been set at 70 shillings per 90 kilogram bag of maize. We have around 17 Warehouse, warehouses in the country that have capacity to store over 4 million bags so that our maize is properly uh, stored. Ninturi further says the National Cereals and Produce Board depots have started buying maize targeting 1 million bags. The farmer who is under pressure to sell his maize because he wants to get money to go and buy fertilizer or plant. We have sent, we have put in money at the Agricultural Finance Corporation, which is our farmer's bank. And, though, and the interest is below 10% for us to be able to support our farmers to grow these seasonal crops. He also announced the government will significantly reduce the cost of sexed semen in efforts to increase milk production from the current 5.2 billion litres to 12 billion litres annually. We also expect by June or July, Next year, we will not only be giving or serving or selling or availing the market the sex semen. Kenya Agricultural, uh, Kenya Animal Gen Research Genetic Center, CADI, we are getting into the process or we are going to launch our embryo transfer plant. We are looking at uh, this sector being sustainable in terms of productivity, utilization of our installed capacity. We are currently having an installed capacity of 5 million litres a day and we are barely halfway in terms of uh, utilisation of the infrastructure that uh, is in place because of the seasonality. They were speaking during the launch of the Kenya Dairy Industry Sustainability Roadmap Report. We firmly believe that this comprehensive framework will transform the sector and serve as a compass for stakeholders as they forge ahead on their sustainability journey together. Let us strive towards a common goal of building a sustainable dairy industry in Kenya. Alanoko, easy Friday.